Hello, good afternoon. It's Adil Fazali, market analyst at CFTs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for uh, the Friday's trading session, the 26th of January 2018. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal Signals market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com and certainly download the app by the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, so where are we positioned then in terms of uh, European markets ending the session? You have the uh, FTSE 100 up 50 points, the uh, German DAX up. Uh, 41 the french cac higher as well so european stocks certainly higher that was helped by stronger consumer confidence numbers out of uh, uh, france this morning and also business climate index certainly coming in stronger than expected okay in terms of uk stronger gdp numbers came in uh, month quarter on quarter year on year uh, okay okay and that certainly helped the market as well to a large extent uh, uk gdp actually did disappoint okay durables goods orders did actually come in slightly better than expected and it certainly seems like uh, the markets have uh, taking a liking to that okay uh, in terms of the uh, the potential outcome here especially given the market close now the s p at the moment is breaking new highs or breaking out to new highs uh, as we speak above that 2850 zone okay nasdaq certainly pushing higher as well and the dow certainly breaking to new highs as well so again certainly everything uh, certainly to, uh, remains bullish uh, even though overnight with the asian markets certainly um, uh, Nikkei going moving lower, especially with the hawkish BOJ, certainly hurting the Nikkei. Hang Seng Shanghai did actually manage to recover even after Mr. Trump's comments of a uh, well, certainly rebutted um, the Treasury Secretary, uh, Mr. Mnuchin's comments of a weaker dollar and therefore talked up the dollar. And that still didn't really have any major effect on the actual index itself. Okay, so again, it certainly seems confusing monetary policy uh, going forward, especially in terms of exports. Mr. Trump was in Davos as well. Overall, markets certainly are not uh, concerned at all. It certainly seems like uh, the uh, weaker dollar comments uh, initially uh, uh, certainly did cause a stir, and obviously Mr. Trump's comments are rebutting that as well. So it really is a lot of uncertainty in terms of Americans' foreign, foreign policy and their potential uh, monetary policy as well going forward, and also their fiscal stimulus as well. U.S. markets certainly rising on the hopes or expectations of further stimulus, especially the infrastructure spending bill. That certainly is uh, or remains a focus, and uh, certainly being interpreted as bullish overall. In terms of Euro, Euro has collapsed from almost reaching 1.26, gone back down below, below or back down to test 1.24, especially after Mr. Trump's comments reverse that uh, uh, situation. Now, again, European markets certainly uh, confused from my perspective, given the fact that Mr. Draghi did sound as if he was neutral stroke uh, hawkish, okay, and therefore uh, he certainly there's a lot of concern now with regards to potential currency wars, given the fact that Mr. Draghi criticised Mr. Mnuchin and his ability to attempt to talk the dollar down, and then therefore he said that the euro rising was a concern, and therefore he would obviously uh, intervene. So again, monetary policy in the UK, monetary policy in the US, certainly a lot of uncertainty. And then from that perspective, that certainly is interpreted as being risk off from my perspective. Okay, I see exactly how the markets are positioned from a technical perspective. As you can see here, given the fact that Mr. Draghi yesterday wasn't as dovish as everybody expected, you can see a flush in the German DAX here. Okay, German DAX certainly under a lot of pressure. Uh, where do we move from here now? In terms of the 60-minute uh, chart, you clearly see that we've got a bear flag formation. The next potential move certainly seems like it wants to close the gap below at 13, uh, 180 zone. Okay, and then obviously you've got multiple gaps below. But the German DAX certainly has been flushed quite substantially. Okay. Daily chart as well, you can see that we've uh, certainly pushed the new highs and rejected them, and the market certainly has reversed quite sharply. Weekly chart, you can see we've held double top. Okay, now do we hold double top and break lower? That's the question. Okay, daily chart for now. I mean, one could argue that the, the higher highs and higher lows certainly seem to be still intact. I mean, you've got lower high, higher low there. Take it to pivot low, you've still held that 75%, so therefore one would presume from that perspective that we'd go higher. But, like I said, having said that, You've got concerns with regards to monetary policy going forward, okay? Germany had its own concerns as well, given the fact that um, you have uh, the uh, potential uh, coalition uncertainty as well, so that certainly is something of a factor that could certainly come into play as well. 10-minute chart of the German DAX, we certainly did flush quite hard on the back of uh, euro strengthening, okay, yesterday, post Draghi. It certainly seems like the market has attempted to recover now. We've bounced off that pivot low of 13, 2, 2, 2. You have previous support equals resistance. Okay, so let's see how the market plays out there in terms of the German DAX. Moving on to the French CAC now. Uh, this is one that I've got to be gone short on. Daily chart, you can see that you've got H&S formation. Still within that uh, upper body of that red candle. And uh, the 60-minute chart, you've got the right shoulder potentially 
kicking in here right shoulder fib 75 percent and the 10 minute chart as well you can see that your horizontal resistance around the 5540 zone okay so watch out for that 5540 zone once we break 5525 you are looking at the potential gap being closed at 5480 so again another argument being sought here for potential risk off move okay so keep an eye on the french cat from my perspective certainly remains weak especially given the fact that the weekly chart at the moment on the french cat you got the topping tail doji candle certainly looking for a reversal here FTSE 100 certainly did reach the uh, lofty heights of uh, 76660 in the end. We're actually slightly broken above that towards the close. Okay, uh, 60 minute chart. You clearly see that you've got an inverted head and shoulders formation. You can see that on the uh, obviously you can see that on the 10 minute chart. But the INHS formation certainly is very visible in the FTSE. You got your left shoulder here, you've got your head. Okay, and you got your right shoulder, and obviously off we go to the races. So. Keep an eye on the FTSE, see if the FTSE can sustain itself higher. Okay, again, given the fact that the Dow certainly breaking higher, certainly does help the FTSE 100's cause. I'll bring the chart the Dow if I have that here. You can see here, there you go. Investors are more than happy to buy the higher highs. So, a very impressive move on the US indices. That's why I've not actually attempted to short in the afternoon. Sort of sat on the line, sidelines, given the breakout. Okay. So again, looking for risk aversion to kick in. Now, moving on to the FTSE, go back to FTSE again, sorry. You've got the uh, inverted head and shoulders formation. Now, if you take the pivot, uh, the uh, neckline, 7665, you've got the pivot low there around the 7600. So 60-point gap. So looking at 7720, so up here, possibly 7740 as well. So let's see how the market transpires from that perspective. Okay, so that certainly is a summation of European indices. Be, please be sure to visit CFTs and take advantage of the bonus. And make sure you download the latest trade signal app. Goodbye now.